Yo, yo, yo! This is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Your hardest team's called Grunt. And this is Pokemon Masters. Guys, this is only for you who are struggling so much with Cobalion Cup. This is gonna be part one, though this is also applicable to part two, but this is part one. So for those who have finished part one, having a hard time with part two probably, or those who have not finished part one yet, this is for you. For those who have finished part three, no need to watch this. So I am going to give you a very, very friendly free to play method of finishing this stage. Basically, you only need three characters. You need um, Flannery and Azerola. Janine could be someone else, though I put Janine because she's pretty helpful with lowering the opponent's stats at the same time. Flannery, you can get her at main story. Wait, I made a mistake. Flannery is supposed to be there. Chapter 3, guys. If you didn't get Flannery, no comment. Chapter 3, Flannery. And then for Azerola, you can get her in Chapter 17. Now, Flannery, you have to be at Sync Move Level 2. You can get it by, you know, if you have played Fire-type training event in the past. I'm not sure if it's available in the current Fire-type training event, but you can get it in the Fire-type training in the past. And then, I'm not sure if we have inventory items that can give us like a strike power up move let me just check guys three star strike move candy we have those so you can use that on uh Torkoal. i think Torkoal is a strike character if i'm not mistaken oh wait he sh she's a tech type guys it's my mistake so um let me check if we have a tech Four star strike move candy, five star strike move candy, three star tech move candy. There you go. You can use this on Flannery and Torkoal and, you know, to level her up to sync move level two if you don't have her at sync move level two. And then we are going to have to rely on sync grid just a tiny, tiny bit, guys. For Janine, nothing. You don't need to do anything. For Azerola, you only need one, which is Astonish Aggravation 1. This will make your life a lot easier than not having this at all. So you only need like 120 plus 5 or plus 5 or no, not really, just this one. So you only need 5 plus 120, so 125 Sync Orbs. So you get this. It's easy to farm 125 if you don't have it yet. So just get those two. And for Flannery, we need her at sync move level 2 because we are getting critical strike 5. So easiest route to go there, either pick this or this. Speed or special defense, I'll go for speed. And then go up. HP plus 10. This one is kind of expensive, it's 60, so I'll pick the cheaper one, 36, going up. HP plus 20, and it's your choice whether to go special defense or defense. I'll go for defense since Cobalion has a lot of attacks, physical attacks. And now, critical strike 5. Now, a bit more expensive in terms of sync orbs, but this is... Kind of not so bad already compared to, you know, full sync orb things. That's just what you need for Flannery. Just go get your critical strike 5, you are done. And we're done with the sync grid, guys. Now, go to Explore, go to Legendary Arena, Cobalion. And again, this is only part 1, though applicable for part 2 as well. If you don't have Janine, which you can get by Sync Bear Scout. Just swap her with someone who's kind of tanky, your favorite Sync Bear or whoever. We need Flannery, we need Azarola. But in this particular example, I'm going to demonstrate what Janine 
should do. Let's do this. I actually restarted the battle because this guy won't get poisoned. So, first attack a bit. Try to poison this. Not burn, just poison. Then astonish, astonish, non stop astonish. Try to poison using cross poison. Once Cobalion's poisoned, we're going to use Venom Drench, Venom Drench, Venom Drench. But non stop astonish for um, Azerola. If you run out of move gauge bars, just boost, just do a boost. And if you have a sync move already ready, just use it using Flannery. Come on, get poison now. Get poison! Again, non-stop astonish using Azerola. I will ignore Torkoal right now. And you have time to boost. There it is. Venom Drench now. Venom Drench. You have a little time to boost Acerola after being able to flinch Cobalion. This doesn't happen in hard or very hard. Just take note of that, guys. So non-stop Venom Drench, non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. I'll speed things up, starting now. Lower the attack, lower the special attack, lower the speed, perfect combination. And by the middle of his HP, guys, Cobalion will get Antitoxin. There it is, Antitoxin. And now, you cannot do anything with Janine anymore. Just attack using Ember. Don't use Willow Wisp, just use Ember. If he gets burned, it's fine. If he doesn't get burned, it's also fine. And then sync move using Torkoal, and you're good. Boom! 21,000! And again, don't use Willow Wisp, just use Ember. He's gonna use Swift, unless we are able to flinch him. He got burned, it's fine. We want to avoid burning him too much. But it's okay. So astonish and burn alternating. And then once it's ready, sing move. Boom! 22,000! I was able to go above. 50,000 earlier, guys. It was shocking. Same thing. Same thing. It's alternating. And then, sync move. It's okay for him to attack you. Cobalion's defense attack, I mean, special attack attack is low. Wow, that's pretty weak. Why is it Why is it weak? Because Cobalion isn't burned yet. So once he's burned, that would be deadly strong. I'm just seeing how high we can go. So just keep doing this. You won't die anyway. 
No matter what. Unless you don't move, you're safe. And he's not yet burned. It's fine. Let's use another thing move. Guys, by the way, if you are able to burn him already, he's long dead. We're just enjoying this fight. Hurry up. He's not yet burned. It's awesome. It will still be weak. Still be weak. It's perfect. 4,700 something. Okay. Ready to burn you now. Ready to burn you. I'm excited. Let's see how much damage we can cause this guy. Okay, Willow West this time. Oh, never mind. He's burned. And sink move. Sink move. Sink move. Enjoy. 20. Well, that's depressing. I was hoping that would go up. But, guys, that is how you beat Cabalion using free to play characters. And a bit of Sync Grid. So, Sync Grids, guys, Sync Grid. Invest only a little bit here. No need to have hundreds of thousands. No need to have tens of thousands of Sync Orbs, Co op Sync Orbs. Just, you know, perfect for beginners. I hope this video has helped you somewhat. And in case it did, give this a thumbs up, comment your thoughts, share this with your friends, subscribe if you haven't. And again, if you don't have Janine, pick anyone else. That, that character might probably die, but it's fine because as a roller, you know, if you're having a hard time, you can use over here, make the opponent target the user for a short time, and then while you're astonishing, she'll recover. By the way, if you haven't been using uh, tactics, this is my tactics, or these are my tactics. The first target is Janine, second target is gonna be Azerola, and last to be attacked is Flannery. You can set this, you can switch this up, your choice. Again, you can swap Janine with anyone else. Azerola and Flannery is available in main story. If you tell me that you don't have them, I have no words to say to you. That's all for this video. Rawr.